Okay, folks, we saw some pretty strong earthquake activity over the last 24 hours where the Caribbean and Cocos Plates meet there in Central America. We had two five-pointers yesterday in Europe, one in Italy and one in Greece. The Russians have asked that the United States and NASA participate in some tests to determine whether or not HARP or one of the U.S. radar systems could have taken out the Phobos grunt. And surprise, surprise, we said no. It's not just Americans, Canadians, Europeans, and Australians waking up. It's the entire world. People are arming themselves becoming more aware and preparing. I would as well if you haven't. Just after midnight UTC we had some pretty strong sea flares. They came out of the solar active region that has been uh, the bane of the sun for the last couple of days. Uh, you can see the ejection there. This is not expected to be geo-effective. It is pretty much pointed straight north. And You can see here on the stereo A with Earth over to the left this ejection does not appear to be headed in our direction. We did have a coronal mass ejection impact us yesterday and we are uh, now seeing the solar wind speed dying back down. We uh, have been in a solar radiation storm for a few days, but you can see now on the ACE, uh, the electrons and the protons, this is part of the particle uh, bombardment of the Earth, they are falling, and as you can see here on the left, the GOES protons, that's what you use to determine the solar radiation storm. Um, as little as 48 hours ago, we were up near a 4, and now it's really dying down. Uh, in about 24 hours, uh, maybe more, maybe less, we should get hit with a fast, uh, charged up solar wind stream from that dark coronal hole. Hopefully this magnetic filament just to the left uh, will stay stable and uh, not come off the sun. We do have this big uh, coronal hole looking feature up here on the uh, northern part of the sun. Never actually seen one look like that. And over there on the left side of the uh, sun turning the eastern limb, you can see we do have some more magnetic filaments. Hopefully all this stays stable and it won't be anything to worry about. That's the news. Be safe, everyone.